In the afternoon of October 29th, 2012, Hurricane Sandy had sustained winds of 90 miles per hour, about 40 meters per second. Estimate the pressure at the center of Sandy at that time. The density of air is 1.29 kilograms per meter cubed. Again, we're going to use Bernoulli's equation for our flowing fluid problem. I'll use one for the center of Sandy and the two for a region that is calm. The rho gy terms can cancel because we're looking at one and two at the same height, which is usually at the sea level for weather readings. So P1 is the pressure we're looking for. And near the P1, we have air flowing. Density is 1.29 times the flowing speed is 40 meters per second. So 40 squared. And on the other side, we have the atmospheric pressure at a calm region at the sea level. So this will be our normal atmospheric pressure, which will be the standard one is 10 to the fifth pascals. I need to use pascals because everything I use over here is in standard unit. So this atmospheric pressure has to be in standard unit as well. Plus, over here, in a calm region, the airflow speed is uh, almost zero. So I can find P1 to be 98,968 pascals. In a windy region, the pressure is lower because the flow speed is higher. The pressure data reported by weather centers was 943 millibars, which is 94,300 pascals. This is lower than our Bernoulli's equation estimate. Maybe this is because the Bernoulli's equation is for steady flow of incompressible fluid with no viscosity. The atmosphere certainly is compressible, has viscosity, and the stormy airflow is not steady. Viscosity and the turbulent flow can cause a lot of mechanical energy loss. Therefore, the real pressure should be lower than the estimated value from our ideal model.